Hello all, in this video we discuss the UK accounting localization in Odoo 15. Fiscal localization is the feature of a company's finance management which installs chart of account, taxes, fiscal position and more. For a new database, Odoo will automatically take the generic accounting package for the database while installing the accounting module and this localization package can also change. For an organization, it may have multiple companies at different locations and the finance management followed in one company may differ from another. Thus, for each company, we have to set the correct accounting localization package to adapt the accounting standard for your respective country. Let us see how the localization package can be set to a company. As the first step, we need to create a new company. For that, we can go to the settings and choose the companies option from the users and companies tab. Here we can see the list of created companies along with the partners. So for a new company, we have to set the name and other company information like the address of the company, VAT number, company registry, currency, contact details including the phone and mobile number, email, website link, etc. If the new company is the child company of some other company, one can mention it in the parent company field. For UK accounting HMRC issues a VAT number to all the companies registered for value added tax having 9 digit, sometimes having the GB prefix. The HMRC short for Head Majesty's Revenue and Customs is the UK Government Tax Authority in charge of collecting tax, issuing child benefit, enforcing tax and custom rules and ensuring that employers pay the minimum wage. Also responsible for all direct and indirect taxes and ensures that the implemented and followed taxation system is as efficient as possible. It also ensures that cash for public sector support is readily available. Another function of HMRC's tax-related business is to educate and inform the people about their tax-paying obligation. The company registry number is the company's registration number. It is a unique eight-digit number to identify the company and verify that the company is registered with the company's house. So the company's house is the registrar of companies in the United Kingdom. So all the companies registered in the United Kingdom have to submit all accounts in the company's house. At the same time, all business, not only the company, has to register in HRMC and file their tax return. Once the company country is added, the currency will be automatically taken according to the country. After providing all the details, you can click on the save icon. Now we have to set the UK localization package for the company. For that we can go to the accounting module and then to the configuration settings. So to set the localization package under the fiscal localization, we have to add the package from the drop down menu. If localization packages are not available in this drop down menu, we can click on this install more packages. So you will be redirected to accounting packages where one can find all the localization packages available in Odoo 15. So we can search here for UK accounting. From here we can install the packages. Here the two modules UK Accounting and UK Accounting Reports will give the complete UK Accounting features which install the predefined chart of account taxes, fiscal position, uh, reports for UK Accounting etc. So here the UK accounting report provides accounting report for the UK and allows sending the tax report via the MTD VAT API to HMRC. Once the module is installed, we can choose the package in the accounting settings and save. So here one can see that the default sales tax and purchases are set after saving the localization package. In the fiscal country, 
then domestic country of your accounting will be taken the united kingdom also here we can see the company currency is updated as jbp now let's look at the chart of accounts that came with the uk accounting package for that we can go to the accounting modules configuration and choose the chart of accounts option here one can use the default chart of account for the company's operation sometimes companies may have specific account configured for their business operation so for that case these pre configured accounts can be deleted and import the chart of account required for the company now let's look at the taxes these are the default taxes provided in odu and if needed more taxes can be created the sales tax rate in the united kingdom is the tax levied on the consumers depending on the price of goods and services the uk government's most important source of revenue is sales tax revenue here is one of the tax configuration for zero rated sales tax zero rated items are still vat taxable but the rate of vat that the business must charge its customer is zero percentage the company must still account for them in its vat books and disclose them on its vat return here the tax credit has been introduced which aids in recording the tax report in line with the company's country's rule now let's move to the tax report so a hierarchical structure of applying tax can be seen based on the tax credit the connect to hmrc button will connect the odu database with the hmrc and send the vat return to hmrc then here the vat obligation can be seen below the reporting menu so here one can find the submitted hmrc vat obligation and the details like the start end and the period status can be seen like whether it is fulfilled or open so the companies in the united kingdom need to send the vat return to hmrc every 3 months the vat return include the information like company total sales and purchases the amount of vat the company has to pay the amount of vat the company is eligible to claim and how much the company's hmrc vat refund is even if the company has no vat to pay or refund the company must file a vat return when a business cancel its vat registration it must file a vat return if your company's registration is cancelled due to insolvency the hmrc will give you a proper version to fill out apart from this the generic statement like profit and loss statement balance sheet executive summary and cash flow statement which are significant legal statement required for every company are available in every accounting package that's all about the video thank you for watching